If you would like to support me and this channel, go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Over there, you'll find tons of great guitar lessons, all with tab, covering scales, licks, techniques, and much more. Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanted to talk about my Ampless rig setup that I've been using probably for the last month or two. Been really enjoying it and I find it's actually enjoyable to play without an amp just using this kind of setup. Starting off, I'm using the Freeman IRX as my kind of amp sound and that sounds like this. And that's literally just right into the IRX on the second channel. Sometimes I'll throw like a tube screamer or something like that in front of it to add a little bit extra, but that's it. Just straight in, um, out of the IRX, right into my interface, and then I'm using uh, Logic. And what main focus today is going to be talking about the plugins I use to kind of spice up the different sounds. So this is the stock sound. I really enjoy the sound. <laughs> By push of the button, you get a little bit cleaner of a sound. A lot of people have asked what IR that I've been using on the, with the IRX, and it's just whatever his like go to. It kind of says in the description of his IR. I think it's like sixty one fifty or something like that with the fifty seven and one twenty one. Uh, that's my go-to kind of IR sound. Now, that kind of sound by itself is a little sterile for me. Um, it's not as lively and fun as a real amp, which I'm trying to be able to kind of replicate just here in the house, uh, just plugging right in. Or I could have headphones on, but still make it feel like a real amp. It sounds great and feels great, but it's still lacking something. So the first thing I throw on is a Neve preamp EQ plugin right here. And uh, I don't always use this, um, but sometimes what I like to do is to push the uh, preamp side of it, just to give it a little bit more. And then I'll back down the volume to, for I don't, I don't want a solo boost or like a volume boost. I just want it to have a little bit of flavor in there. And the EQ is off right now. So off. And then if I turn it on, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's a little bit clearer sounding. Now, sometimes I might go in and EQ it later and add, sometimes I'll boost some 100. I don't really need to right now, but. Yeah, that one gets a little out of hand there. But if I needed some more beef, I would boost that. Or if I need some more sparkle, I'll go up here. Or if it's too bright. And then sometimes I might even go cut some cut some lo this like lower mid area Ooh, that was a little too much put 
put a little bit of a high pass. <laughs> See, I, I like it with no EQ, so I'm gonna leave it with no EQ. The next plugin that I love is the Distressor. Here's it off. And I'll turn it on. This one's my absolute favorite plugin. Might go to a four to one. I like to go over here and add. I just find the distressor adds a lot of beef to lead stuff. A little bit extra sustain there. Let's just go with that. I have the uh, Universal Audio Spark, which gives you access to different uh, Universal Audio plugins. And this one, I don't know, they gave me access to this one. And I was like, I don't, I didn't find a use for it at first. But now I see that for going direct with no amp, this is probably one of the best plugins in my opinion. Not because of that. That is, let me, let me go over here. Let's tweak this a little bit. What I do with this is I kind of, you know, every time you plug into a real amp in a room, you're kind of hearing the, the room, even if you don't realize that you are. And this allows me, because we're going direct, we might be wearing headphones or something like that, or we're just in a, a room direct, playing direct. It, we need that room sound. And this is like the best room sound ever. So this is where the fun starts. So say we have our tone set up. We have, uh, you know, the Neve adding a little bit of flavor. We have the Distressor adding a little bit of extra flavor. This makes it just feel like we're playing just in a room. And so I'll go over here to this um, mix knob and then I just slowly blend that in. So all the way it's obnoxious, right? It's a little too much, but we just blend in a little bit. There we go. That, that might even be too much. And go mess with different parameters. So this one I'm not liking too much. All right, let's just go with that. Now I'm gonna bring the mix down further. Because with this, I'm not trying to add a reverb, I'm just trying to add a fill thing. So here's nothing. And then we just blend in. There we go. And if you want a lot of room. I don't want that much. Just like that. And that right there, maybe even a little less, just changes how it feels so much. And this is, you know, not really a reverb. I'm just kind of replacing the room sound. Off. We turn it on. What happens if we unmute these? Oh, that's really nice. It's just fun. You know, it's too much because I'm going to add more actual reverb here in a second. Thank you. 
But anyways, that plugin right there has transformed the kind of direct Ampla setup for me because it just feels so much better adding that little bit of room reverb on there. Now let's take a look at, this is my favorite reverb that I use. It's the Universal Audio Pure Plate. Oh, it just sounds huge. I usually go do a low cut and maybe quite a bit of pre-delay. Now I'm at home with that. With those two, with the room reverb and then this pure plate. And then lastly, I like to throw on a stereo delay. And I just use a stock logic delay. And then I'll cut some of the highs out on each side. Maybe a little bit more. And then I turn them down, of course, that's a lot. Now this is a very wet sound. So if I'm just jamming, having fun, this is great. Now that's a little excessive. I probably will go back my kind of normal jam sound if I was just having fun. enjoy this Amplis rig for a few months now. I really enjoy it. It makes it feel as close to a real amp in my opinion as possible, especially adding that room reverb. That's a kind of a secret sauce. I don't know if it comes across on the recording as well, but in real life, it really feels so much more inspiring with that room reverb. Then you add the actual pure plate reverb, which is a amazing plate reverb and then some stereo delay on there especially with the distressor going to really add some sustain on those high lead notes there and i don't know, just sounds great and it's super easy to record going with the ampless rig you don't have to mic up an amp now there's obviously other alternatives with load boxes and things like that but kind of having a little ampless little pedal that feels really really good and is really inspiring just all in one is awesome now the computer is doing a lot of the work but it's still fun it still works well and sounds great all right i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next time